Hi, my name is Monica. I'm from cookie.com and I'm here to tell you about the vertical positioning widget. The widget allows you to vertically position objects such as menus or forms and you can put them exactly where you want them to appear. It's percentage based and the widget automatically calculates the dimensions of your browser to keep your object exactly where you want it to appear at all times. So in this example, we have a form and as you can see, it's vertically centered. And if you resize the page, it stays there. Same thing with the menu, vertically centered, always there. So I'm going to show you how to use the widget. So I have this page that I already built and I have a menu that I want to vertically position. So the first thing that you want to do is grab the widget and place it on the page. Then you want to select your object and you want to go to the hyperlink panel. For some objects, the hyperlink panel won't appear. So you want to grab the text tool and you want to create a text frame. The text frame is going to serve as a container and then you can cut your object and paste it into the text frame. Then you're going to select your object and you're going to go to the hyperlink panel and you're going to type VP for vertical positioning and then you're going to type a value such as 50 if you want to vertically center it and you also want to pin your object. It doesn't matter if you pin it to the top or bottom. The pinning helps determine the horizontal position, the left, center, or right. And now when you preview, our menu is vertically centered and it always stays there even when we resize the browser. You can also position it differently. So let's say that we want it more towards the bottom. We could put 90 and that means that it'll appear 90% from the top of the browser. And that looks like this. So the new version of Muse allows you to have responsive height, but you can use our responsive height widget to get percentage-based responsive height. So for example, you can have an object that's always displaying at 50% of the browser height, and the responsive height widget can be used at the same time as the vertical positioning widget. So let me show you an example. So I'm going to get my responsive height widget. And I'm going to select my object. I'm going to pin it. And I'm going to go to the hyperlink panel. And I'm going to put RH for responsive height. And I want it to display at 50% of the browser height. So I'm going to put RH50. And I'm also going to put VP50 for the vertical positioning, just to show you that you can use both at the same time. And one important thing to remember is that it doesn't matter if you capitalize it or not. So you can have VP or VP. One thing to note is that you have to make sure that you don't have a space between your percentage number and your VP or RH. So you should not have that. So let's go ahead and preview. And right now our image is 50% of the height. And if you resize the page, it maintains 50% of the browser height. Well, that's all that I have for you. If you have any questions, you can always check out the documentation or you can leave a comment below. As always, thank you for watching.